why do the y square become y to the negative 2 on the last step? All right, here we go. I'm going to work out everything from scratch for you. Here we are going to simplify 8x squared over square root of 4x to the 6th power times y to the 4th power. So right here, notice we have the square root. We can look at that as something to the 1 half power. So let's look at this as 8x squared over parentheses to the 1 half power. And then we have the 4 and then x to the 6, and then y to the 4. Okay, the top stays. 4 to the 1 half power, just look back to the square root of 4, which is just a 2. Now, x to the 6 power, and then to the 1 half power, we multiply the powers. 6 times 1 half, we get 3. And then 4 times 1 half, we get 2. So that's what we have. And then we see that we can reduce the 4, that's the answer. We can reduce the 8 and 2. 2 goes into 2 1 time, 2 goes into 8 4 times. So we first end up with 4. And then this over that, we do x. And then we do 2 minus 3. 2 minus 3 gives us negative 1. That's this power here for the x. And now we have something over x to the second power. So in fact, you can look at this as there's no y, right? y to the zero's power. 0 minus 2 is negative 2. So we have y to the negative 2. So you can do it like this, 0 minus 2. That's how we end up with a negative 2 power. Another one to look at it is, here is the quick note. If today we have 1 over y squared, this is y to the negative 2. And usually people, the way that we do it is that y to the negative 2, you see a negative exponent first, and then you bring this back down. And you just do it backwards. So that's how they get that. And this is how they want you to present the answers. I will leave it like this as well.